Hello and welcome back to Bamton Insight. Now this week we can't film one of our usual videos as I've been struggling with concussion after getting hit on the head with a racket in training. This isn't a common Bamton injury, however it does happen if your partner gets angry with you quite a lot. We've ever seen a Bamton tournament. Video of the tournament has gone viral. Canada's former Olympians say they hope the match doesn't set a bad precedent. In my experience they should look at the review. Anyway, over the last few weeks, we've had lots of you commenting, asking for the most common injuries in badminton and how to prevent them. So in this video, we're going to go through our top five. Now, over to Jen in the hall, who's going to start with number five. Twisting and turning constantly in badminton means we've seen quite a few rolled ankles over the years. If you're squeamish, look away now. One has really been near him in this corner. And and Lee Chong Wei. Oh dear, I didn't like Shame. that. I did not like that. To Sun Wan Ho of Korea. Oh my goodness. We're going to have another look at it here. Ooh. There are several ways to protect your ankle. You can wear a brace or strap it up, which some players do. You can also protect your ankle by strengthening it. Here is an example of a great exercise with three progressions, using all of the muscles and tendons around your ankle to stabilize and strengthen it. And next up at number four is feet. Now we know feet is a bit of a grim topic, but it's so important to take good care of your feet. Having sore feet means you won't be comfortable in your movement and jumping around the court. And being in sweaty socks and sweaty shoes all day isn't a good idea either. You should make sure you always carry a spare pair of clean socks in your bag. Blisters are sometimes unavoidable though, and can be a result of either new shoes or playing a lot when you haven't played in a while. We don't bother using the blister plasters as we find that as soon as we get sweaty, they just fall off our foot. We use this second skin, which is literally a lifesaver and there's nothing better. We'll include a link in the description to Amazon if any of you regularly struggle with blisters and want to save your feet. Another good tip is to wear your shoes around the house, especially new shoes. And as I've not been able to train in over a week now, I'm doing it just to keep my feet conditioned. Call me sad if you want, but I've found that over the years it helps to maintain that hard, protective skin that you need when returning to court. Anyway, sorry to interrupt, back to Jen in the hall to go through number three, which is... Elbow pain. There are so many different types of elbow injuries, from golfer's elbow to tennis elbow. However, these aren't all that common in top-level professionals. You'll see elbow injuries more often in players who either have the wrong technique and the wrong grip, or players who are just too tense and are trying to squeeze the racket too hard. We're not qualified physiotherapists, but the first place you should look is your technique. Now, moving on to number two. And the second most common injury is shoulder pain. Using our shoulders for every shot in badminton, it's not surprising that this is one of the most common injuries. We've mentioned this a few times in our previous videos, but to prevent shoulder injuries, we would highly recommend doing shoulder strengthening exercises. We've done a full video on this, which we'll link in the description below for you to check out. And our most common badminton injury is knees. Whether there's too much strain from overload causing tendon issues or just a one-off horrible twist, we've seen so many different types of knee injuries. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Have a look at it here in slow motion. Look at the knee, how it's caving in. That right knee. As you just saw from that clip, Carolina Marin tore her ACL. And in her Amazon documentary, she discusses the injury, the setbacks, and overcoming this injury to return to the highest level of badminton. We'd really recommend giving it a watch if you haven't already. We'll include a link in the description below. From an ACL tear to little niggles, there are so many different types of knee injuries. I'm just recovering from an inflamed fat pad. Yeah, fat pad, that's the actual term. Which was simply caused by just mistiming my footwork in an agility session. Thankfully, it wasn't anything serious and I'm all recovered now and back to full training. But aside from the one-off, horrible to watch knee injuries, knee injuries are more common if you have tight hips and glutes. So these are two areas we'd recommend stretching and foam rolling regularly. So they were our top five most common injuries in badminton and a few ways to prevent them too. I'd just like to give a special mention to the eye as this is a serious one in badminton. So no matter how much your opponent annoys you, don't try and hit them in the eye. Please be careful. In general, some of these injuries you can do nothing about, and others you can. As well as doing a good badminton specific wall and stretching regularly, you can also do weights training to reduce the risk of injury. We have some programs to help you out with this on our website. 
we'll include a link in the description below. And finally, we've got a really exciting video coming either next Sunday or the Sunday after. So if you haven't already, make sure you smash the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss out. And throughout this video, we've mentioned a few of our other videos, such as our stretching or our shoulder strengthening, which you can watch next.